Under Rule 801 of the Federal Rules of Evidence, or FRE, hearsay evidence, which is an out-of-court statement that's offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted in the statement, is generally inadmissible. Consequently, for evidence to be hearsay, it must be a statement. In addition, a statement is defined under the rule as an oral assertion, written assertion, or nonverbal conduct if a person intends it as an assertion. But what about a witness's testimony that guests at a motel didn't make any complaints about a gas heater in their motel room? Could this be considered hearsay? The Fifth Circuit considered this question in Kane v. George. In the 1960s, Mildred and James Kane, husband and wife, and their minor son stayed at a motel in Fort Worth, Texas, that was owned by Chester George and his wife. Tragically, while the Canes were guests in the motel, their minor son died from carbon monoxide poisoning. When the fire department arrived, they found a chair next to a gas heater that was smoldering. Subsequently, the Canes sued the Georges for wrongful death based on diversity jurisdiction in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Texas at Fort Worth. Specifically, the Canes alleged that the gas heater in the motel room was defective because it had been improperly installed, was improperly venting, and hadn't been inspected or maintained. At trial, the Georges were called to testify as to the number of guests who had occupied the motel room where the child was found who hadn't made any complaints about the heater. By doing so, they sought to prove that the carbon monoxide didn't come from the gas heater, but from the smoldering chair and clothing placed next to the heater through the Canes' negligence. The Canes objected, arguing that the evidence was inadmissible hearsay but the court allowed the evidence. Following trial, the jury returned a verdict in favor of the Georges, concluding that the child's death was the result of an unavoidable accident and wasn't proximately caused by George and others' negligence. The court then dismissed the Keynes' complaint. The Keynes appealed the decision to the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit.